XFM News for Morro Motor Group. Timbula Road Horsham. Over 50 used cars in stock. MorroMotorGroup.com.au Part of the Ace Radio Network. 94.5, 98.5 and 101.3 Mix FM. 20 degrees in Melbourne, showers developing, top of 26. It's 9 o'clock. Good morning. I'm Gal Watson. Police have been called to two suspicious car fires early this morning. A car was found light in an abandoned building in Gasoline Way in Craigieburn around 3am. A few hours later, a ute went up in flames outside a home in Dandenong. Fire investigators will attend the scenes of both fires this morning. Insulin injections for diabetes sufferers could soon be a thing of the past. Researchers at the Baker Institute in Melbourne believe they may have found a way to rewire insulin production. Lead researcher Professor Sam Eloster says it could be five years before the treatment can be performed on humans. These are preclinical human studies. So these are experiments performed in type 1 diabetic donor tissues, both in children with type 1 including adults. That's in a lab setting. Our follow-up research will be able to test these drugs in animals. The Defence Force is set to be deployed to storm-ravaged southeast Queensland. A series of storms since Christmas Day has knocked down trees, flooded roads and left thousands without power. Emergency Management Minister Murray Watt has defended the slow rollout of the ADF. It was last night, we, late last night, we received a request from the Queensland Government for that kind of support. So we're now working on that with Defence to try to get that sorted out as quickly as we can. Up until last night, the consistent advice we'd had from the Queensland Government was that they had the resources they needed through the SES and other services to do the job. Meantime, more than 40 people have been rescued when a Gold Coast campsite flooded overnight. A Victorian woman has been charged after a pursuit in Sydney that allegedly saw eight vehicles hit, including a police car. A Mazda hatch was followed for about 90 minutes after it was spotted speeding in the Southern Highlands. It continued along the Hume Highway through Sydney's southwest, allegedly hitting eight cars. The driver, a 30-year-old Glenroy woman, was refused bail and will face court today. Australians holidaying in Japan have been rocked by a deadly earthquake. A 7.6 magnitude quake has brought down dozens of buildings, killing at least four people. Rescuers are searching for others believed to be under the rubble. Matt Clayworth's family was on a skiing trip when the tremor hit. Obviously, sort of building code is very strong here, and all the staff are incredibly helpful in terms of making sure we're all OK and we're all warm. I was sort of minus two degrees when we all sort of ran outside, some of us not wearing, wearing thongs and not very much. Uh, yeah, but no, no damage where we are. Health experts are calling for more professional carers for terminally ill people who want to die at home. Gabrielle Hodson has more. Ageing baby boomers are creating some unique issues with health experts telling News Corp that by 2050 there'll be a 50% increase in demand for end-of-life care. For people wanting to die at home, the bulk of caring will fall on family members. Palliative Care Australia says patients aren't getting the choices they want and staying instead in hospitals is having a massive effect on the health system. They claim GPs, nurses and allied health professionals can deliver the care that's needed, but many don't have the training and that needs to change. The group also wants health workers coming to homes to be properly paid for out-of-hours care. Gabriel Hodson, Nine News. Awaken your senses. The all new MG5. Sport for Horsham Bearings, Starlet Street, the district's largest range of industrial supplies. Australia has won its United Cup tie against the USA 2 1 in Perth to gain an unlikely spot in the knockout stage. Matt Ebden and Storm Hunter's straight sets win in the decisive mixed doubles rubber took their country through to the quarters. But Australian captain Leighton Hewitt says the work of Alex Dimonor against Taylor Fritz in the opening match of the tie really set the standard. Deep down, like the fact that he could stamp his authority for the whole team, you know, first 
just on, give us that confidence that we could get on a bit of a roll and give ourselves a chance to get through, and he was able to do that, and it was bloody impressive. And in the English Premier League, Liverpool has defeated Newcastle 4-2. Five past nine, that's the latest news and sport. Be the first to know in just one click. Become a Mix FM VIP, mix1013.com.au. Crush that morning craving. Click and collect on the OTR app to indulge in our range of delicious premium hot coffees. Whether it's a latte, espresso or hot chocolate, OTR is ready and waiting. OTR, making life easy. Hungry Jack's new Texan Bacon Deluxe. Crispy bacon with double flame grilled beef. Texan smoky barbecue and creamy peppercorn sauce. The new Texan Bacon Deluxe. The burgers are better at Hungry Jack's. The drive through is now faster at Hungry Jack's Horsham. Mix FM weather for GWM Water. Join the team today. Check the website for a range of exciting positions available. Your four-day forecast for the Wimmera today. Cloudy with a high chance of showers. Thunderstorms expected possibly severe and southeasterly winds, the fire danger moderate. 31 the top tomorrow, partly cloudy with a medium chance of showers, also thunderstorms Thursday, mostly sunny, southerly winds 29, and for Friday sunny, winds southeasterly, a top of 32. 30 the top for Horsham today, stall and Ararat heading for 28. The Tim Tam McFlurry is back at Macca's and much more chocolatey. Right now, it's 19 degrees.